Chris, what's a quadriplegic? A uh, quadriplegic is a word that they use for someone whose neck was broken and they lose a certain uh, part of their body, loss of their body. Quadriplegic actually means loss of function in uh, all four limbs. And since I have no hands function in my hands and limited arm mobility, that makes me a quadriplegic. I'm paralyzed from the chest down. And uh, yeah, if I was a paraplegic per se, I would be from the waist down. And my upper limbs, my arms and hands would work. But uh, I have, I'm disabled in four limbs, so that makes me a quadriplegic. So there are, this is due to a spinal cord injury, right? Yes, it is. I broke my neck during a skydive back in 2003. C5, C6 vertebrae, both crushed. And, uh, yeah, that's why. So, but what if it was broken one step down? What will happen? If it was broken one vertebrae down, then I would probably have use of my hands. And probably I would have use of my triceps. So that when I put my arm up above, above my head, I would be able to keep it there. And maybe some chest muscle as well. I would have a lot more arm strength and function, but if it was one higher up, I surely wouldn't be moving. I'd be driving my wheelchair like this, with a straw. So like the Superman guy, what did he have? He was, his neck was broken much higher than mine. Uh, he had no use of his body. He couldn't do anything other than talk and move his head a little bit, but he had to drive with his mouth. So he had to smoke, I mean like push air through something? Uh, with the, it's called the sip and puff and it's a straw that you blow air in um, at certain different increments. So for example you want to make the chair change from power to off. Maybe you would blow in and then suck, then blow into it and then suck back. So the, the, the controller understands pressure of uh, your breath, either blowing out or in or how many times you blow in or out. And you can change the function of your chair and actually drive that way. Uh, or you might have a joystick in your mouth, which you can actually move left and right, which would drive the chair left and right, or move your lips forward and backward to go forward and backward. Um, but it's, uh, I'm very lucky I don't have to understand this uh, process too deeply. I'm very fortunate. So, Chris, thank you so much, and I request you guys to find him on Facebook, join his group on Facebook, it's called Quadriplegic Home, um, and um, let's interact. Quadriplegic Life. Quadriplegic Life, yeah, and, uh, you know, interact with him and see what we can do to help each other.